Now another whistleblower, Edward Snowden, who wrote the foreword for the assassination complex. Snowden writes, quote, "...these disclosures about the Obama administration's killing program reveal there's a part of the American character that's deeply concerned with the unrestrained, unchecked exercise of power. And there is no greater or clearer manifestation of unchecked power than assuming for oneself the authority to execute an individual outside of a battlefield context and without the involvement of any sort of judicial process. That's Edward Snowden. Jeremy Scahill, take it from there. Well, you know, and one of the things um, that that Ed Snowden um, also addresses, and and this, by the way, this is a very substantive uh, essay that Ed, Subs uh, Ed Snowden. Uh, wrote that is both personal and uh, and uh, political in in nature, and uh, he writes about how uh, whist there's a difference between whistleblowing and leaking, um, and and he talks about the the difference between the authorized leaks uh, in Washington and, and the uh, the sharing of classified information uh, with mistresses as as David Petraeus uh, uh, did, uh, and then people like Daniel Ellsberg or Chelsea Manning um, and and others. And, and uh, Snowden says that, you know, it's an act of political uh, resistance when you are engaged in that kind of uh, whistleblowing and, 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 of course, states uh, what now has become painfully obvious, that the Obama administration is engaged in a war not against leakers. Um, but against whistleblowers, uh, there was just these. Uh, the CIA was live tweeting, you know, the uh, uh, their their version of what happened in the compound in Abbottabad, uh, Pakistan, the night that Osama bin Laden uh, was killed, um, and the you know the the Central Intelligence Agency uh, uh, and it was was basically a, a sieve uh, in the immediate aftermath of that uh, operation. And but more, the political people in the White House, uh, the people that were closest to President Obama were deliberately feeding journalists and media a completely false narrative uh, about what took place uh, in that raid. And none of them were held accountable uh, for or, or, or even, uh, you know, viewed as having done something wrong uh, by releasing all of the information that turned out to be false that they did about a firefight happening, about bin Laden putting one of his wives in front of him. I mean, almost everything that John Brennan and his, his buddies said in the immediate aftermath, because they were rushing to plant the flag of victory on Osama bin Laden's dead corpse, uh, turned out to be propaganda or just wrong. Uh, and, and, and so— you know, when you have people of courage who leak, uh, who, who provide documents, classified documents uh, of the nature that Edward Snowden did to Glenn Greenwald and Laura Poitras, uh, that uh, the source for the uh, assassination complex book did uh, in, 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 in providing these documents to us, these are people motivated by conscience who understand that their lives will never be the same as a result of what they've done. They are not people like Sandy Berger, who can go in and, and stuff classified documents and, you know, down his pants and then, you know, walk away from it. They're not David Petraeus, who gets a slap on the hand. Uh, these, are, these are people that know that they are going to be in the target sites of the most powerful uh, institution in world history, and that is the U.S. empire. We're going to break and then come back to this discussion. We're talking to Jeremy Scahill, um, the Intercept co-founder with Glenn Greenwald, who is also with us from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Um, the book is The Assassination Complex, Inside the Government's Secret Drone Warfare Program. It's out today. Stay with us.